And for the other one, let's talk about repugnance. We've been talking about repugnance like crazy. Always with every little piece of information that was leaked out, we would constantly be picking away at it and trying to figure out like what mold they were going to use, how he's going to look, is he going to look like his original. And well, we finally have a good look at him. It looks like he's going to be a heavy retool of Twinferno, also known as uh, Double Cross. Mm -hmm. And um, he looks pretty darn cool. Um, I always really liked Repugnus the most. I like um, that they gave him like these swords that kind of look like they have like goo coming off of them. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like they give like a clear Energon goo kind of thing coming it off get, them. It, it's a it's a lot of um, character, a lot of yeah. character coming out of this thing. And uh, he comes. His uh, headmaster is Dastard. Um, <laughs> you trying to say a bad word there? Yeah. <laughs> and uh he comes with uh also with a he, this one that we knew up to this point now we're finally getting to see it we get a clear blue soulless prime uh in this case the detail is kind of hard to see on this one because it's kind of a, a weird uh gray with the clear blue but uh still pretty awesome that it comes with that and uh what's also interesting is on his box if you look carefully it looks like he's beaten the hell out of um ape face and uh looks like snapdragon yeah so uh i i wonder because that might be a throwback to uh in the headmasters cartoon when the monster bots went to the beast planet and they had to protect the beast and they were left behind there and snap trap and uh excuse me uh, snapdragon and uh ape face were two regular regular headmaster decepticons in in the series that zarek would use to cause trouble and also mm -hmm. on the side of the packaging we have uh some of the other headmaster decepticons there so Pretty, pretty cool. Also does the puzzle um, the puzzle thing. It has a number on the side, so it's two. So, like, if you get, I believe, um, uh, punch counter punch is three, yeah. uh, and uh, blast off is one. So if you get the three of them together, you put them all next to each other, you get a nice combined image. I wonder if they're going to continue this idea, but it's really cool. I dig this a lot. Um, I think I love the only thing uh, I'm, again, curious about is that face. Like, why isn't his robot face painted in if it's supposed that's to be that's kind of in. how the original toy was uh just he, straight up yellow yeah just, he, he was he was the, he was one of the spark monster bots that spat like little sparks and stuff oh, with a flint. okay so um i think that like with the original toy uh they put a lot of paint and and focus onto the alt mode head because that's the head that the gimmick would use with the original toy um so they just kind of went well i guess we're not going to put you know most people are going to have this in this mode mm -hmm. you know because that's the, where the cool gimmick is. So we're not going to put a lot of paint and effort into the robot mode head. And that was the original toy. So this one, they're just they're just being true to the original, pretty much. Uh, but I really I really dig it a lot, and I love I love the weapons. I I, I think like at it, like these two this this pair of figures that we've just talked about. Um, I'm really excited about them. These are these are cool ones that I hope to get my hands on them. And they're already starting showing up on uh, Amazon Canada. Mm -hmm. So um, try to snag them because they're going to be uh, probably tough to get later.